Good morning and I'm very happy to say that it's a much better morning than it was yesterday. Yesterday we had some terrible winds, very um, miserable, drizzly, cloudy weather. And thankfully the sun's up this morning, we got a beautiful sunrise, beautiful morning. And uh, I'm out here close to Main Dam, uh, just listening for any lions. Um, but I'm going to stay in the central and sort of northern part of the reserve this morning. And I'm going to see what I can find. So let's go. And uh, fingers crossed we get lucky with something good on the last drive of the week. So great news after about three or four weeks we finally managed to find the Mbiri Pride. Say thanks to Wise. He was at the lodge and he heard some uh, calling and he followed up on some tracks and he managed to find these six females. So only six females, which is interesting. No males, no, no sign of the younger males here. They are very well fed. Big fat bellies, and they've uh, come to look for some shade in these Tamboti thickets. It's been quite a bit of confusion and uncertainty with this pride. At the moment, we haven't really seen any sign of them, even. You know, just hearing them roaring around the lodge. We haven't really been hearing them lately. And we haven't seen tracks of these uh, males, the four young males from this pride. So uh, we're wondering now if these males have actually left these females. But we haven't seen any sign of them or reports from other lodges or other reserves that they've seen them. And there was reports from Honeyguard that uh, one of the Mbiri lionesses was mating with one of the open males. She was mating with the open male with a limp. That was about a week ago, maybe 10 days ago. Unfortunately, we didn't manage to find them. So we're wondering if the time's changing now and these females are looking to breed again. And if they are going to choose the open males as potential fathers for the future. So even though these lions are well fed, there's a herd of impala and zebra that have just moved into the area and you can see already showing interest. Always up for the opportunity to hunt, always alert. You can see this lioness eyeing out some of these impala. It's a very, very tough spot for her to try and hunt them here. It's open, broad daylight. The minute she starts to walk through this grass, there's a lot of impala here. They're going to set off the alarm, they'll see her, and they'll give her away. Also, doesn't help the fact that the other five lionesses are fast asleep behind her. If you want to catch impala, you really got to set up a good ambush. 
So I don't think she's going to be successful here. Yeah? She doesn't really need to be. Like I said, they are well fed. So I think this is just opportunistic. It's just a predator's instinct. Very interesting sighting here. We've got one of the little uh, raptors, little occipiters. Just managed to catch a bird. Looks like a kingfisher. Probably a brown hooded kingfisher. Just taking it into this tree on the left hand side of the road. Yeah. Probably going to start feeding on it. Yeah. Looks like it's going to start feeding on it. See the coloration of the feathers on, of the kingfisher. Just looked in the binoculars and looks like it's a little sparrow hawk. Yellow eye, yellow legs. Could confuse it in this area with um, birds like a shikra or a goshawk or even an African goshawk. But uh, a shikra's got a red eye. This little sparrowhawk's got a, a yellow eye as an adult. Just shows you how strong these little raptors are. That kingfisher bird is not much smaller uh, than this bird. Dropped it down to the floor now. I wonder if it's going to go and pick it up. It's a very old bull elephant here. He's missing his right tusk. He's probably lost that through his life fighting with other male elephants or as he was trying to uh, feed on trees, push trees over, debark trees. It can be a very painful experience for an elephant when their tusk breaks off at the root. If it does break off at the root, it won't come back, it won't regrow.
Look at this guys, two of the copies females with their cubs. Lots of fighting for milk at the moment. So I've got the two open males. They further off to the left here. And great morning for lions. Open male, full belly, just resting here. There's quite a few jackals in the area as well, so I'm sure these lions killed something during the night. I'll just take a little drive to where the jackals are. But I even saw on some of the cubs, they had nice full belly, so looks like they've all eaten here. So it looks like they killed a wildebeest during the night. Just a few leg bones here, ribs, scraps. These jackals are busy feeding off. No hyenas around this carcass, these big male lions have made sure of that. And that's also a good thing in keeping the cubs safe. The fact that these males are always with these females and when they're feeding on a carcass with them, it keeps the hyenas away and that in turn will keep these cubs nice and safe. Both males are here, it's just a lot more difficult to see the other male is in some very long grass.
Well guys, what a wonderful way to end our week off. Finding the two copies females with their cubs. The two open males are here and they've all just finished. The wildebeest kill, nice to have all the jackals around. The vultures are starting to circle here. So uh, a great uh, way to end the week. Unfortunately, it's just dawned on me though that the eldest lioness of the copies is probably no longer with us. Um, she would have definitely been here with this kill and probably with her cubs. Her cubs would have been old enough to be here. So we're not quite sure what's happened to her. She was quite old. Maybe complications during giving birth. Um, it's quite unlikely for me that she's been killed by hyenas. So maybe something else unfortunate happened to her. But the rest of the prize looking good. All cubs are healthy. Still seven cubs. So the rest of the prize growing nicely. It's been a great morning finding the six and very females. Um, they're all looking great and seeing that the prize probably has split so interesting times for that pride and then to see that great sighting of the little sparrowhawk taking the kingfisher something interesting and different to see and then the elephants in the general game it's been a good morning i'm going to be away for a week or so and leave so you'll be with alistair next week and i'm sure your good sightings will continue so i look forward to seeing you when i'm back take care and uh, enjoy the rest of the, the safaris with us